This is the way credit cards used to work. Visa, Diners Club, American Express, MasterCard. They all work the same way, but they're all going to change. This is the sweep of the future. And this is International Verifact, the company that makes that little machine in a plant north of Toronto. This gizmo is the built-in telephone so the credit card reader can dial up the computer and see if you're good for it. This is a smart card, and it's the future. That gold seal actually covers a tiny computer that remembers everything, how much money you've spent, how much you have left. John Elliott of MasterCard in New York explains just how powerful a smart card is. This is an example of, the, of what it would look like if you could peel away the back of, of our existing card, the card with the uh, chip in it. Uh, what you'd see is a chip with data storage and another separate chip over here with the processor itself. The processor has the same processing capability as an Apple IIe. It has a 64K memory and an 8-bit processor. The smart card is being tested in Maryland. With it, you can't overspend your limit and fraud is almost impossible. The card's inserted, a personal identification number punched in. The card itself authorizes the transaction and remembers how much you've spent. Right now, there are about 6,000 of these smart cards in use in North America. By the end of this year, about 30,000 will be used in tests in the United States. Once they get the bugs worked out, they should show up in Canada about a year from now. But it'll take another four years before the 170 million MasterCard and Visas are replaced in Canada and the United States. Until then, most of us will be stuck using the old dumb card. I'm Fred Langan in Columbia, Maryland, for The Journal.